Oh, shit, it's on. We're live. Hey, what's up, guys? It's Sean Mathis from uh, SellingWithSean.com, and this is the Success Series. Uh, obviously, you guys know my philosophy on things is to align yourself with the right people, and the right things in life will start happening for you. If you are the smartest person in your crew of people, then you need to start hanging out with some smarter people. If you are the richest person in the group of people you hang out with, you need to find some more friends that got more money than you do. And, uh, you know, I always subscribe to a, a theory that you should never, ever, ever eat alone. Uh, I firmly believe in networking, and, you know, networking has really gotten me to the place where I'm at today with uh, having thousands and thousands of contacts all over the world. I've been able to work with clients uh, east coast to west coast and every continent except Antarctica because I don't believe people actually live there. However, I am excited today to uh, have Sean Whalen on the Success Series. You know, the whole premise of this is to – introduce you to the network of badasses that I had the pleasure of learning from, being mentored by, working alongside, picking their brain, and uh, this is, you know, part of the sphere that I have, and as I went through a, uh, a journey a while back, maybe six, eight months ago, um, you know, I had a, a lot going on in my life, and it was time for me to level up. I was the richest person that I hung out with. I was the smartest person that I hung out with, and that's not just ego shit. I was just hanging out with the wrong people. So I was able to meet a group of people um, through a program called the Wake Up Warrior Program. Uh, Sean is one of those badasses that I met, and, and through that, man, I've just been able to really connect with a lot of people who are just doing epic shit in their life, really. And, uh, you know, Sean is one of the foremost experts when it comes to fix and flip. I don't give a shit that you may not have seen him on TV because, uh, you know, those guys aren't making millions uh, flipping real estate, those guys are making money selling the programs to teach you how to flip real estate, which most of them are honestly bullshit anyway. But Sean is the real deal. This dude has flipped over 4,000 properties, guys. 4,000 fix and flips, and he's probably is sitting on like a few hundred properties right now in Detroit. He loves the D-Town, so if you're from Detroit, hit this dude up. He's always there. He loves it. Uh, he's just a badass man, and he motivates literally hundreds of thousands of people. He's got this morning insight deal that he does on Facebook, so you really need to connect with him. Um, he doesn't have the little fancy dancy thing that I have here, but his name is Sean Whalen. You're just going to be able to connect with him on the blog post. I'll put a, a link out to his Facebook. But Sean, welcome, man. Thanks, bro. Appreciate it. Appreciate it. Love being here, dude. So where are you right now? What's going on here in the background? So... My, one of my sponsors is, Spar is Starbucks. Like they sponsor my <laughs> caffeine, freaking uh, midday pep talk. You know, I'm actually out driving around looking at some uh, properties and had a client uh, went and did some lunch with them and uh, knew that we had this call lined up. I'm like, shit, I gotta find the closest Wi-Fi joint uh, fast. So Starbucks uh, said, you can come use our Wi-Fi if you'd like, and I got myself a little beverage as well. And just place our logo conveniently right in the yeah, screen. Yeah, right, there. right here over your shoulder. <laughs> So, Sean, tell us, man, you've got an awesome story. I'm not going to spoil it and steal your thunder, but uh, tell us how you kind of got started into uh, the real estate deal. Like, what did you do before real estate? Because I don't, I, you weren't, you didn't come out of the womb flipping deals. So, what did you do before that? And then, what intrigued you about the real estate game? And finally, what was the turning point that really took your career to that next level? So back in, uh, I got married when I was really young, like in my early 20s, and, and I always had this dream of actually the hospitality industry. Not very many people know this, but I worked for the Marriott for a couple of years and uh, rose to uh, assistant general manager. I wanted to be a GM of this big resort and hotel and stuff like that and you know make 150 grand a year kind of a deal. I love doing that. So I went from that to uh, um, working at uh, Convention and Visitors Bureau, which basically handles like all the tourism stuff. So long and short of it, I love the hospitality world. And uh, I ended up getting fired from a job. And so that was like one of the only times I ever got fired from a job in my entire life. And it almost forced me to become an entrepreneur um, because it was like I was constantly out. Just I was a sales manager for the CVB. I was going out. I was like booking huge deals. Uh, bringing in huge contracts to, uh, to to the towns and the cities and to the hotels and stuff like that. But I didn't do it the same way they wanted me to do it. It was like, yo, here's the money, here's the revenue, I'm making the money, but I'm kind of off in left field doing my own thing. And, and they weren't very happy about that. So I ended up getting canned. I kind of dabbled around in the insurance business, uh, car sales, doing shit like that, just as like a young, early, early, early 20s uh, entrepreneur. And uh, my buddy introduced me to the mortgage game. 
and that's when everything changed for me. Like I became a mortgage broker, and just like all the all the lights went on in my head, and I'm like, holy shit, dude, you can make so much money doing mortgages. But this is back in the day, like early early 2000s, when the market was booming in Vegas, booming in California, and um, that's when I really got into into understanding real estate, understanding uh, banking, things along those lines, and so. Uh, uh, my ex-wife and I, we bought our first house in my early 20s, and a year later, I sold it for almost 40 grand, late, 40 grand profit. And that was when I just got hooked. Like I read Rich Dad Poor Dad, like a lot of bunch of other entrepreneurs I was like, dude, why am I going to think about going to college and making 60, 70, 80 grand a year for the rest of my life? And um, so I built up my mortgage company, built it up, and we became one of the the largest privately held. Um, mortgage brokerages in the state of Utah and we were doing just ridiculous amounts of mortgages and uh, that sent me into my investing world. I just started doing a lot of my own private investing, putting a lot of my money into developments, things along those lines. Um, 2005, 2006, 2007, I mean Vegas was booming. I was going to Vegas literally every single week doing mortgage seminars, doing just just a, a ridiculous amount of money. In your early 20s, dude, and these banks are paying you a shit ton of money on the back end. You're making 50, 60, 70, 80, 90 grand a month, like you have no financial like gauge, like know what the hell you're doing, but you're just making a ton of money doing mortgages. Um, that was when I started really getting into real estate, when it just clicked for me. I'm like, my time is worth a lot more than what somebody else is going to be willing to pay me or would want to pay me. And so, uh, and so I just ran from there and started, uh, started flipping some houses. Um, this is like literally like the 30,000 version foot version of the story you know there's obviously a lot more to it but market crashes in 2008 all my developments that I had I was highly leveraged in the development world like a lot of other developers I took basically all the money that I made in the mortgage industry put it into you know building all these different developments big golf courses shit like that and um, 2008 the market I mean, the market just shifted all the banks walked away uh, wanted more equity this that, and the other and so uh, at that time period though that's when my flip game started uh, somebody introduced me into tax deed investing. I'd seen all the infomercials, done all that stuff. I went to a tax auction in in 2000, uh, late 2007, and dude, it was like it was literally like crack. I just got absolutely hooked. I was see, seeing and realizing that there's literally thousands of properties, thousands of auctions all over the country that these properties can be purchased for hundreds of dollars, not even thousands of dollars, but hundreds of dollars, and I could buy these properties, turn around and flip them to other investors, and that was where like. You know that four thousand property flip game started, and uh, I never looked back, bro. It just it absolutely exploded and took off for me. So um, you talked about like getting into development and and stuff like that. Did you have uh, you know a mentor that you followed or that that you worked with, a business partner, or was this like were you just self taught and just a, a a risk taker to the core on this kind of shit? Like how did you you know get get into you know the understanding of it. Where did you learn the the, the trade? Um, mostly self-taught, but honestly, I, one of my mentors was Donald Trump. And I know that sounds crazy to a lot of people, but uh, a good friend of mine, um, his sister is married to Larry King. And I'll tell you like the, the story really, really quickly. Uh, I was doing real estate back in 2006, 2007. He hit me up and said, "Bro, I want to get into real estate. How do I do this?" And so my my entrepreneurial mind said, "Well." You know, let's 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 start working with bigger players. So I said, let's go meet with Larry. Let's go meet with your with your literally your brother-in-law, Larry. Long story short, we end up flying down to Beverly Hills. We meet with Larry. Larry says, all right, cool. What do you want? And at the time, I was working on a golf course development down in Southern Utah. And so on my feet, I'm just thinking to myself, well, shit, Trump's got this 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 brand new casino and tower in Vegas. We should hook him into this golf course deal. So I'm in Beverly Hills, literally sitting with Donald or with uh, with Larry King, saying, can you get me a meeting with Donald? So, to make a really, really long story, pretty fucking epic story short, um, I end up uh, 48 hours later in New York City on Fifth Avenue sitting in Donald Trump's office and ended up striking a deal with him. And uh, we, we created a, a joint venture where he was going to help me co-develop and partner on this deal. Um, started working with Don Jr., with Ivanka, the whole thing. So my mentors really were like some of the best in the freaking game. And of course, this was prior to everybody getting kicked in the shorts. but. I came into it just guns blazing. Like I was self-taught and just aligned with people. Like just like what you just said when you started about being the biggest friggin' dude in the room. Like trying to work with better people. I was like, I want to go straight to the top. I want to know how Donald Trump built this fucking empire, and I want to do the same damn thing. So as my wheels start spinning, I'm like, I'm doing developments. He's a developer. I want bigger, better, faster, stronger dudes. 
why not go to him? And the stars aligned, man. I mean, they just absolutely aligned and, and just kind of went bing, 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 and, and ended up lining up a deal with him and started working with him. So, um, answer the question is I'm, I'm obviously I'm very much self-taught. Read a lot of the books, did a lot of the deals, made a lot of the mistakes early in my in my career, but ended up uh, aligning and partnering with people that had way more money than me, were way bigger fish than me, and uh, I learned a shit ton about uh, real estate, about developments, about economics, about uh, capitalism uh, from those guys. So that was, uh, I would have to say, my a mentor, uh, a guy that I looked up to without question would be, uh, would be kind of the godfather, you know, Donald Trump. Dude, that's awesome. So, you know, that, that I want to touch on something on, on, on what you said there, you know, going straight to the top. Um, I think that's why, you know, people like you and I, we get along so well right off, right off the bat because, you know, a lot of the same things that I did, people probably hear that story and like, how in the fuck did you get a meeting with Donald Trump, right? And yes, you, you kind of had the foot in with, with the Larry King situation, there was the marriage or whatnot, but even still with that, just to, to have the balls to go and say, man, I'm just going to go for it. I mean, the worst the dude's going to say is I don't have time or whatever the fuck, right? So exactly. Same deal with, you know, when I got into working with the reality TV guys, um, you know, the million dollar listings, the, you know, the Katrina Campins of the world, um, and, and started dabbling into that whole deal, you know, people would be like, how did this guy that I just knew the other day all of a sudden – you know, he's every other week, he's in New York or L.A., and he's hanging out with all these celebrities, and he's got, doing all these events, and these red carpets, and, like, he was just, like, this regular dude, Sean, that I went to high school with the other day, but the, re <laughs> like, I just, and everybody's like, how did you do, I, I just fucking called him, that's what I did, I knew what I wanted out of the deal, I knew <laughs> that I had value to bring him, and I brought it to him, and I said, hey, here's the deal, what do you want to do, and right, the worst they're going to say is no, and I go on about my way, but, you know, it's funny because I did a I did a class with Frederick Eklund when we did this uh, a, a real estate coaching program, a little six week mentor mentorship program. We probably coached I don't know seven eight hundred real estate agents uh, around the world through that deal. And one of the things that he mentioned about going into development because that's why a lot of the people took the course was how you know how do I get into the development, Frederick? I want to be a, you know get into new development like you are. And he was like, you know, I started and I would just call the developers. I just Call them and, and get a meeting with them. And he said, what, what you find is that everybody looks around thinking that, oh, well, this you know, big $250 million project, surely this developer has already got a relationship with a real estate agent. And, you know, I'm not going to call him. Or every broker in town is already calling him, so you know, I'm, there's no sense in me calling him. And so meanwhile, everybody's thinking that either A, he's already got a relationship, or B, everyone else has already called him. What ends up happening is nobody fucking calls him. And so the one guy that actually has the stones to go and do it gets the deal. So I think, you know, the, the message there that, that, you, that you talked is, is to just get over it and, and go for it. And, you know, when, especially when you talk about sales as well, you know, 75% of salespeople never ask for the business, yet they're in sales. Yeah. Dude, it's a trip. It's, it's really like when I talk about that story and, and I think back to, like, all the deals that I've done, it's the same damn thing. Like, like we were working with the Golden Door Spa, which anybody that knows the spa world knows. It's like the Golden Door Spa is like, it's like the pinnacle. It's like the greatest spa in the world. And, and if you're a developer and you can get a Golden Door Spa, it's like, it's like friggin' moving mountains, right? I literally pick up the phone and I, and I start calling them and I'm talking to them. And I, what I've realized is literally it, it, flipping real estate, doing mortgages, working with celebrities like you guys do. I mean, the whole freaking deal. You pick up the freaking phone. Like literally pick up the phone and call these people. Say, hey, here's who I am. This is what I want. That's the problem I think in the game is, is that a lot of people look at like people like you, people like me, go, oh, well, they must be like trust fund babies or they must have connections or daddy must have hooked them up or this or that or the other. And I'm like, dude, I grew up in a single parent home hustling since I was a little, little kid. I just picked up the phone and called. Like plain and simple. No, 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 no. There's no way, dude. There's no way. You got to know somebody who knows somebody. A buddy of mine sitting in my office and says, hey, how do I get into real estate? I say, you want to get into real estate? Hook me up with your brother-in-law. Like, let's go down there and pitch him a deal and see what the hell happens. What are we going to do? I don't freaking know, dude. Let, let, let's just go down and meet with him, though, and see what happens. So literally from that to like 48 hours later, Larry looking at me going, okay, what do you want? Well, this is exactly what I want. And that's the problem is that from sales to flipping to whatever, this is exactly what I want. I want this house for this 
this price for this deal. This is what I want. And it's either yes or no. But if you don't freaking ask the question, if you never go out there and try and put shit together, how the hell are you going to know? Plain and simple. That's right. That's right. Well, look, man, let's, let's get real for a minute. Um, you haven't always had success. Uh, you know, it hasn't always been peaches and cream for you. So, you know, let's talk about the other side of the deal. Uh, 2008, the, the market starts turning, and, and where does that take you? Where does your, what happens for you there? Bankruptcy, bro. I mean, plain and simple. I was highly, highly, highly leveraged um, in, the, in the development world. A lot of people that, that understand the economics of it know, you know, okay, I got this piece of ground, and I'm going to secure the ground, and I'm going to do all the legwork. I'm going to do geotechs and phase ones, like what, what I was doing to build this golf course, this development. And I go to banks and say, okay, here's my plan. This is what I want to do. Here's my pre-sales. How much will you give me on this project? How much equity do I need to bring in? And you know, the long and the short of it, when the bank walks away and you got a $100 million development, you got a big fat problem. Well, the problem was is that I was the guy that had spent all the money on the dirt and putting it together and making it, uh, uh, making it shine. And so the, the, you know, the long and the short of it is 2008, uh, it just the market rocked me. Plain and simple, the bank started walking away. Uh, shit started going down where I realized like these developments were not going to survive. And it was like a global thing. Like Most of the developers that I know um, got hit massively and, and a lot of guys lost a lot of deals, lost tens, hundreds of millions of dollars. And it is what it is. I mean, what are you going to do? You sit around and cry all day long or whatever, whatever. So it's, it's ironic though that, that I went through that deal. I went through a, a really nasty divorce that just completely pulled me out of my mind, like I just, I just disappeared. I went from running a 170 person uh, employee company, flipping 25 to 30 houses a week, doing a million a week in sales, to literally walking out of my house and moving into a one bedroom condo and literally turning my company over to my partner and not wanting to do shit. Uh, I, feel, I always joke with people, I tell them if I die at 70, I'm at midlife right now. I kind of have my midlife crisis, right? So I uh, kind of disappeared and just questioned a lot of shit, dude. I questioned me. I questioned my mind. I'm like, dude, who are you? Like, are you really this cool? Like, you got built up on this pedestal of success. Like, was that all a lie? Was that a joke? Was it just a total freaking scam? Like, what? what's, who are you? And so I spent two years trying to figure out, like, you know, what I wanted to do, where I wanted to be, like, who I really was. And, and it was a, uh, it was a tough time, man. I mean, I really wasn't motivated to do shit. I wasn't motivated to do anything. Like flipping houses is what I'd always done, so I just kind of kept, you know, instead of having a huge company flipping 25 a week, I mean, I might do like one a month, two a month kind of a thing, and it just got to that point where I just wanted to figure out what got me excited again, like what got me motivated, what got me jacked. And uh, it's it's funny, as I coach people and, and as I travel and I speak now, a lot of people have me come do this and speak to them and, and coach and stuff simply based off this one facet, this one principle, because so many guys have been in that spot. I mean, you and I have talked about this, dude, with divorce and the shit that storms that happen and the mental freaking battle that goes on with that. Um, you know, what do you do after you get your ass handed to you? What do you do after you lose your balls? Like, how do you come back from that? Where, where do you go? What are you doing? It's been a challenge, bro, but it's like, you know, one of my favorite quotes is, you are who you are today because the choices and decisions you made yesterday. Now, you are who you are right now because of the choices, the decisions you, that you made yesterday. And so I feel like for me, I'm a net total of all of all of it. The good, the bad, the bankruptcy, the divorce, the millions, the Trump meetings, the Larry meetings, the this, that, the private jets. All of that shit has made me who I am right now. And so, you know, then it boils down to, all right, now what are you going to do? Like, now, now, you know, what's round two, if you will? Like, what are you going to build? What are you going to grow? What's your empire going to look like? Um, to me, that's epic shit, man. You know what I'm saying? So, so what is round two for you? Where, where do you go now? You, you, you know, you hit rock bottom. You spent two years uh, figuring out what the hell, finding yourself, getting real. Um, and uh, where, where does that take you today? Where are you headed? What's next for you? Dude, I, I started a company called Buy Flip Win. And uh, that's, uh, that's a company that I'm, I'm still flipping houses through and, uh, and working through. But I've, I've had, I don't even know how many people over the last couple of years that have just hit me up and said, bro, like, can you teach me? Can you help me? You know, I'm in the same similar spot or I lost my balls or this or that or the other. I lost millions and what do I do? 
there's so many freaking people that are in the same spot, bro. Like, it's boggled my mind how when I got real and started talking to people saying, yeah, man, I mean, I could just hide and pretend that I'm still this big swinging dick in the room or I could be like, yeah, man, I lost, I lost my shit and that's just how it is. Um, so many people have come out and so I've been working with a lot of different guys and doing a lot of uh, coaching and mentoring with individuals trying to get into the flip game, teaching them how I started flipping back in 2008 is my one empire is crashing how I built this other empire of, of flipping almost 4,000 houses and so uh, the last year has been really dope in, in the fact that I've been able to, to keep doing what I love which is flipping houses but then start to teach and educate uh, a lot of like what you guys do with the masterminds, uh, just sharing real shit sharing real experiences like how I do deals not like what I read about in a book 10 years ago or what I think should be the case but this is what I do on a daily basis this is how I built this this is how I do these deals and uh, you know that's what I'm doing with buy flip win now is 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 coaching and educating and mentoring um, guys and then I'm flipping I mean I'm traveling the country flipping in Detroit and Texas and, and different places like that and it's uh, it's a blast man it's, it's an absolute blast that's awesome. So where can folks get information on the Buy, Flip, Win, man? If you go to uh, buyflipwin.com, you'll see uh, we've got some information there on, on a summit that we're doing in Detroit. It's funny, I started buying in Detroit back in, in 2008 and people like, you know, 2010, 2011, 2012, oh, dude, Detroit, it's ghetto, this and that. Now it's like one of the hottest real estate markets in the country. Um, but if you go to buyflipwin.com, uh, you can reach me there, or just you know reach out to me through uh, through Facebook, and uh, uh, we can connect that way. Yeah, and I'll have uh, I'll have all that information on the uh, on the blog post as well. So look, man, I know you uh, you're out with clients and whatnot, and I definitely appreciate you taking some time with us today. Um, go in there and get a free cup of coffee for getting the uh, free publicity <laughs> from Starbucks there. Uh, but no, man, I really do appreciate your time, and and uh, always enjoy. Uh, getting to pick your brain and anytime I can get with you is always a, a pleasure for me. So uh, I'll definitely put this uh, blog post up and uh, make sure that everybody can get a hold of you, uh, connect with you on Facebook, check out the Buy Flip Win. It's the real deal, guys. I would definitely connect with them. All right, I appreciate you, brother. Thanks, Sean. Appreciate what you guys are doing, dude. Love watching uh, what you guys are doing with the masterminds and TV and blowing shit up. So the same thing you used to open with is... Uh, it's reciprocated here, man. Like I love rolling with guys that are doing epic shit. Like for lack of better words, and uh, I would definitely encourage people. Like if you haven't uh, looked at your circle, looked at your sphere of influence, looked at your tribe. I mean, you're only as, as successful as the as the five closest people you are uh, connected to. So look at those people. And if you're not connected with the right people, I mean, hit up Sean, hit up me. I mean, talk to us about uh, how to up your game, how to level up, and and do epic shit because that's what uh, that's what it's all about, man. Leveling up, doing new shit, challenging yourself, pushing yourself, and and uh, at the end of the day, that's what you and I do. Hey, man, brother. Hey, have a good one. We'll talk to you soon. Thanks, bro. See ya.